What up, man? It's your big brother, K. Reno. Message to all artists, man. Stop giving your art away. Stop giving your work away, man. Y'all are so hungry. I don't, you know what? Y'all are so desperate for a record deal. So desperate for what you believe that record deal will entail that you are willing to just give away your whole future to receive that. And I know sometimes young artists feel like, man, this is my only way, this is my only chance to, to really make it or get out the situation I'm in. But I wanna let you know that it's really not. It's not the only way. The, the true way to free yourself, but I won't say free yourself, being free in the beginning and holding on to your freedom is what will sustain you and maintain that freedom down the line. Every time that you sign a deal that is compromising to your art and compromising to your um, future, your financial future and situation, then it eliminates your chances of being secure in the future. That's just what it is. We all hear about the 360 deals and things of that nature and those types of deals were structured because the record companies were starting to see that a lot of the artists were starting to wise up and they were looking at how the change was going on in terms of record sales. You know, you don't see record stores anymore like that. And a lot of the artists were getting, were getting smart and starting to diversify in their ways of um, bringing in revenue. So you start to see a lot of artists coming up with clothing lines, artists coming out with um, um, hair care products, and facial creams, and book bags, whatever you can think of. And the labels wanted to make sure that they get a cut of everything that you do, not just your music. And it's ridiculous because you're signing me supposedly to a record deal. You're not signing me to a clothing line deal. You're not signing me to a whatever commercial endorsement I get deal. You're signing me supposedly to a record deal. So those 360 deals were constructed to make sure that they get a piece of everything that you do. And in our desperation to get put on, we'll quickly sign. And whatever little lick comes in the beginning of that, it's a, it's a smoke screen, it's, it's, an, it's an illusion because it's nowhere close to what you'll be generating and what you'll be worth if your thing pops off. It's nowhere close to what you'll be worth down the line. You start to see a lot of artists, you know, really, really free themselves and get in those positions, um, but there are far too many that are not because I understand you looking at your current situation, you're like, man, I ain't got nothing right now. So whatever I make out of the 360 deal or whatever I make off of the bad contract is more than what I got now. But the problem is that once you kind of get used to the crumbs that they give you now, you realize, man, what have I left on the table? What was I supposed to get? What could I have gotten? had I been doing this on my own. And people would say, well, man, it's harder, man. It's, I don't have the connections. You know, we all heard the Kanye rant back in the days, and you know, I don't have the connections. Well, the bottom line is, man, slave connections are not better than freedom, in my opinion, than, 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 than hard freedom. <laughs> That's what I say. You know, sometimes, man, freedom is hard. You know, it, it's, it's a tough thing 
and it's a it's a painstaking process when you're trying to free yourself when you're trying to truly become independent so it's not supposed to be easy but you got to push through regardless because many have shown that they can do it and if you do decide to go the route of signing a deal then you have to make sure that the deal is laid out on your terms you got to be willing to walk into a meeting knowing in your heart that hey i'm willing to turn around and walk right back out this thing when they start talking crazy not willing to just sit there and just whatever they give me whatever they throw at me it's better than what i got now stop giving your art away because there are so many people man that are feeding their families for generations and generations they're feeding their families and freaking perpetuity off of your gift. And I ain't just talking about music. I don't care what it is, man. I don't care if you manufacture pencils. I don't care what it is. If you've invented something, you know, that, that could change the world, that, that could be very um, profitable, don't give it away. Don't give it away. Maintain it the best you can and keep control over it the best you can because you'll look up and you'll be, you will have created something that shake the whole world up and it'll get snatched right from under you and it, it may still have your name on it, but they might own that name. It may still have your face on it, but they might own that image and they'll be making the majority of the money off of it. So it's your big brother, K Reno, man. I hope this helps somebody. Y'all get at me. Like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch y'all later. Peace.